After being mined in a typical open-cut mining operation, the oil shale is stockpiled and crushed to size, finer fragments are briquetted, and the shale is transported to the dryer, where it's heated by circulating air to remove moisture and prepare the shale for delivery to the retort. The oil shale moves slowly down the vertical Paraher 2 retort and is met by recycled heated gas, which takes the temperatures to about 500 degrees Celsius. Around this point, organic matter within the oil shale, known as kerogen, is released in an oil mist, which is carried upwards in the retort with the gas stream to the oil recovery section. Meanwhile, the processed shale is sent from the bottom of the retort to a stockpile for eventual return to the mine area. The oil recovery section is designed to capture the oil droplets and condense and capture process water, and through a series of processes, the oil and water are separated from the gas stream and sent to measure tanks. The measure tanks are kept warm, which helps to separate the oil and water into segregated layers, with the process water pumped to tanks awaiting treatment and the oil also sent to tanks for further processing. Raw oil is pumped into the reaction section of the upgrading plant and is heated in the presence of hydrogen and catalyst. The oil is upgraded and fed to a separator before entering what is known as the fractionator, where the oil is heated and separated on the basis of boiling point. The low sulphur fuel oil fraction is heavier and exits at the bottom of the fractionator, while other fuels are drawn off progressively up the height of the structure. These are ultra-low sulphur diesel, kerosene or jet fuel, naphtha or petrol and finally uncondensed vapour. The process water is sent through a series of packings which strip it of hydrogen sulphide while the remaining water goes to an ammonia column where the ammonia is stripped from the water. Product gas undergoes a process which results in ammonia being absorbed into water for later recovery. Fuel gas enters a second absorber which removes hydrogen sulphide into solution which is sent to a slurry tank. This solution crystallises and allows recovery of sulphur. The liquid oil products are stored in a secure tank farm area awaiting loadout to tankers for transport to a fuel distribution centre.